Hey, what's up everybody? It's Brian Dean from Quick Sprout, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to calculate the ROI of an SEO campaign. So the first thing you wanna do is set up a spreadsheet that'll help you calculate ROI quickly and easily. So to do that, log into Google Drive, click on Create, and then click on Spreadsheet, and you wanna set up a spreadsheet that looks something like this and tracks these three very important metrics. So in this case, unique visitors. So these are the number of unique visitors that come to your site every month the current conversion rate on your site, and the revenue that you get per conversion, which will obviously vary drastically depending on what that conversion is. So your first step is to see how many visitors you're already getting from organic search. So to do that, log into Google Analytics and click on the date area here, and then choose the last full month that you have data for. So in this case, I'm choosing August 1st to August 31st, then click Apply, and then click on your site link here. This will show you traffic that you get from everywhere, so you wanna break this down to only organic search. So scroll down to traffic sources, and then click on organic here, and this will limit the results to just organic search. So in this case, I got 5,811 visits last month just from organic search. So you wanna copy that number, head back to your spreadsheet, and paste it in. Okay, so now we have that figure as our baseline. Next, you wanna measure your conversion rate. So if you don't already have that set up, I'm gonna show you how to set up your conversion rate and conversion revenue very easy. So go back to Google Analytics, scroll up and click on Admin, and under the, the Profile area, click on Goals, and then click on Create a Goal. And then under the template, I prefer to use one just because it's a little bit easier to set up depends on you know, what kind of conversion you have. So it's either pe people paying for something, making an appointment, becoming a partner, um, just asking as an inquiry. But I like to put create an account because that's the most common kind where people are just signing up either for a free or paid account on your site. Then click on next step and then give it a name. So we'll just say you know new account. And you can choose destination. So in this case, when someone fills out the form, it sends it to a destination page like thanks.html or, or duration, they spent some time on your site, but we're gonna go with destination because that's the most common type of conversion. Then click on next step. And then under value, this is very important. You wanna choose this that's on and give the monetary value to that conversion. So if every lead that you get on your site is worth $10, you'd wanna put $10. Or if someone made a sale and your average sale was $55, you put $55, okay? So it depends on what kind of lead you have and how much that lead is worth. And then under funnel, you can put this on or off and then click on create goal and your goal is set up. Once that's all set up, log back into the dashboard for your site, scroll down, click on conversions, then click on overview. And what this will do, it'll show you your goal conversion rate. So you wanna copy that and put it into your spreadsheet. So in this case, 2.66%. Next, you wanna enter your conversion revenue, and for the example in this video, we set that at $10. So once you have these three things in place, you have everything you need as a baseline to calculate the ROI of an SEO campaign. Next, you wanna add these three columns to your spreadsheet. So SEO cost is just how much you're gonna spend on SEO. For the sake of this video, let's just put $5,000. And then your increase in revenue is how much you plan to make from that $5,000. So we're actually gonna put $5,000 because first you wanna see what your break even point is. You wanna see how much more money you need to make, how many more conversions you need to get, and how much more traffic you need to receive in order to break even from the cost of your SEO. So in this case, we wanna see how many more $10 conversions you need to reach $5,000. So in this case, it's 500, right? Because 500 times 10 is 5,000. Next, you wanna see how many additional visitors you'll need to get 500 more conversions. So you wanna add a new column that says something like additional organic visitors, then put equals the number of conversions that you want, so in this case 500, divided by the conversion rate, which is 2.66%. Press enter. And in this case we need 18,796 more visitors to reach 500 conversions and to make our SEO cost of $5,000 worthwhile. So next we need to look at how we're gonna estimate whether or not we can hit this. What you're looking at here is some leaked data from AOL that shows the click-through rate of different positions 
on the first page of a search engine result. So as you can see, the first result gets about 42% of clicks, the second result gets almost 12%, the third result gets 8.5%, etc. Now these aren't obviously gospel and it depends on the search, the results, how many ads are on the page, etc. But this does give you a rough idea of how much traffic you can expect to get in the first position, the second position, the third position, etc. So the next thing you want to do is head back to your spreadsheet and add four new columns. So keywords are the keywords that you'll be targeting for that campaign. So let's just put best running shoes. And next we need to see the search volume. So head to Google AdWords, click on Tools Analysis, and click on Keyword Planner. Next click on Search for Keyword and Ad Group Ideas and enter one of your target keywords. So best running shoes. Scroll down, click on Get Ideas, and then click on the Keyword Ideas tab. And you can see that the keyword best running shoes gets 27,100 average monthly searches. So you want to copy that and paste it into the volume column in your spreadsheet. Then you wanna estimate what position you think that you'll be able to rank for the keyword best running shoes. So let's just say that you can rank for the second position, so that'll be about a 12% click-through rate. So you put 0.12 here, and you wanna set a little formula that basically multiplies this by this. So B11 times C11. And that'll give us an extra 3,252 visitors per month. And you wanna repeat this process for all the keywords that you're targeting and see whether or not you'll be able to hit this metric here of 18,796. So once you have this data in place, you wanna copy it and create a new spreadsheet, which will be your actual calculation. So these were just estimates, obviously. Now, once you do the SEO work and you spent the $5,000 and you've done the link building and the on-page SEO work, you wanna see whether or not you actually got 18,796 additional visitors and whether or not that resulted in $5,000 of revenue. If it did, then you got a positive ROI from your SEO spend. If you didn't, that means you got a negative ROI, so you'd wanna go back and see whether or not you were targeting the wrong keywords or your link building wasn't effective or whatever it is that was keeping you from getting a positive ROI on your SEO investment. So that's all there is to calculating the ROI for an SEO campaign. It does take a lot more upfront work than just like spending money and saying, okay, I went from number seven to number four, it must have been good. But this will give you more actionable data that you can use to make your SEO even better. So thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.